हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द वर्चुअल क्लास ऑफ लर्निंग कव थियोरी आफ्टर डिस्कशन ऑफ टू प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन इन प्रीवियस सेशन आई एम श्योर दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर क्लियर फॉर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लर्निंग कव थियोरी टूडे इन दिस सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस वन मोर प्रैक्टिकल problem let us start the problem first national automobiles limited manufacturing a special types of jeep for the armed forces its a production is subject to 90% learning curve effect in this line effect of learning curve is clearly mentioned that it is applicable at the rate of 90% it was decided to sell these jeeps by adding 25% on its a variable cost the cost and selling price of the first jeep was estimated as follow materials rupees at 10000 labor at the rate of rupees 5 per hour total labor cost 10000 variable overheads at the rate of 150% on direct labor cost that is rupees of 15000 so total 35000 plus profit at the rate of 25% on cost 35000 25% 8750 so sell price of first jeep was 43750 the order would be for a minimum two jeeps you are required to determine the average selling price for the order of two jeeps four jeeps and eight jeeps it is a very simple question we need to prepare our cost sheet for two four and eight number of jeeps and we need to calculate sell price of these batches these bulk this lot by adding 25% profit on total cost let us calculate the important items first in this question how many hours required to produce first jeep was not given instead of that the examiner has given indirect information to us like direct labor at the rate of rupees 5 per hour and total labor cost is given as rupees 10000 so first of all we need to calculate time taken for the production of first unit 10000 rupees labor cost given for the manufacturing of first unit or first number of jeep divided by the rate of labor rupees 5 so 10000 divided by 5 equals to 2000 hours in this way sometimes ready made information related to working hours will be not given so in this situation first of all we need to calculate the working hours learning curve applicable to the process is 90% and generally it is clearly mentioned by the examiner in the question so we are not supposed to calculate this effect it is ready made given in basic type of questions like this now using this information we have to prepare a table showing a calculation of average time taken per unit and total time taken number of units average time taken per unit into bracket for our future reference i have clearly mentioned that 
90% learning curve is applicable to this manufacturing process. And third, total time taken to produce the batch, bulk or lot. Or you can say, for the manufacturing of first jeep, the company is in need of 2000 working hours. That we have already computed earlier. So, total time taken for first jeep is 2000 hours. Now, we need to double the production. So, from one unit, we have to double. So, it's a two unit. 2000 hours average time taken multiplied by 90% learning curve. So, per unit, time required 1800 hours. So, total time required for the manufacturing of two units will be 3600 hours. Then, number of units 4. It is simply double from 2 to 4. Average time taken when we have manufactured two units, 1800 hours. So, 1800 hours multiplied by 90 percent equals to 1620 hours per unit. So, for the purpose of making four units, total 6480 hours required. For the manufacturing of 8 units. It is a double from 4 to 8. Earlier we have taken average time of 1620 hours. So 90% of these 1620 hours equals to 1458 hours per unit. So for the purpose of manufacturing 8 units, total time required 11,664 hours. With these calculations, we can calculate the total cost. But before that, we need to prepare this table very precisely. And we need to keep continue our calculation till the last number of units as per the requirement. In this question, we need to prepare for 2 units, then 4 units and 8 units. So, we have restricted our calculation to the 8 units. It may be possible that examiner may expect from you 32 units, 64 units, 128 units or 256 units. In short, it is a double. So, in this situation, you need to carry on your calculation for the last number of units. Here, I am ending my calculation with 8 number of units because for me, 8 is the maximum number of units that is suggested for the solution of this problem. Let us prepare a table showing calculation of total labor cost. And in this question, we need not to calculate anything for variable overheads because informations are not given. Units, total labor hours and labor cost at the rate of rupees 5 per hour. Units 2. When we have manufactured 2 units, total labor hours required 3600. So, total labor cost become 18,000. For the purpose of making 4 units of production, we are in need of 6480 laborers and the labor cost is rupees 32400 for the purpose of manufacturing 8 units we are in need of 11664 laborers and cost at the rate of rupees 5 per hour is rupees 58,320. In this way, we can calculate labor cost for desired level of production. For this question, desired level of production is 2 units, 
फोर यूनिट्स एंड एट यूनिट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस लेबर कॉस्ट वी कैन प्रिपेयर अवर कॉस्ट शीट लेट अस मूव टू द कैलकुलेशन पर्टिक्यूलर वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर फॉर टू यूनिट्स फोर यूनिट्स एंड एट यूनिट्स डायरेक्ट मटीरियल्स As per the information given by the examiner in the question, the cost of direct material is rupees ten thousand per unit. So for two units, ten thousand multiplied by two, twenty thousand. For four units, it is forty thousand, and for eight units, it is eighty thousand. Direct labor, as per our calculation. Eighteen thousand, thirty-two thousand four hundred, and fifty-eight thousand three hundred and twenty. That you can check in our calculation. Simply from this calculation, we need to copy the data and insert in direct labor. Prime cost, as other direct expenses are not given. only two items included in a prime cost that is direct materials and direct labor prime cost when we have manufactured two units rupees 38000 72400 when four units have produced and 138320 in case of manufacturing eight jibs variable overheads in this question information related to variable overheads are given in terms of percentage and these percentages are connected with the cost of direct labor as per the information variable overheads are 150% on labor so it's a very simple Labor cost is rupees eighteen thousand, so one hundred and fifty percent of eighteen thousand become twenty seven thousand. Direct labor when we have produced four units thirty two thousand four hundred, so one fifty percent on three thirty two thousand four hundred, resulting into rupees forty eight thousand six hundred, and in case of manufacturing eight units, it is. Eighty-seven thousand four hundred and eighty. Total variable cost: sixty-five thousand one lakh twenty-one thousand and two lakhs twenty-five thousand eight hundred, respectively, for two units, four units, and eight units. In this question, all expenses are given, which is variable in nature direct material it is a variable in nature direct labor it is a variable in nature and overheads are also given variable it means no fixed expenses are given suppose fixed expenses are given by the examiner in this kind of question we need to prepare table in a different way first we need to calculate total variable cost as we have completed over here and then we will be going to add fixed cost because in this question profit is dependent on variable cost now no fixed cost are included in this question so directly add profit amount of profit is Five percent on variable cost. Total variable cost for two units sixty-five thousand. So twenty-five percent of the sixty-five thousand, that is rupees sixteen thousand two hundred and fifty. So the amount of profit when we have manufactured two units sixteen thousand two hundred and fifty. Same way for the manufacturing of four units. the total variable cost is 1,21,000 and 25% on the same is 
rupees 30250 and for the last batch of 80 units we need to add a profit of rupees 56450 so in this way you can easily calculate amount of sales amount of sales 81250 one lakh fifty one thousand two fifty and two lakhs eighty two thousand two fifty for two units four units and eight units respectively in this question we can calculate sell price per unit with the help of the figure of total sales and number of units when we have manufactured only two units the sales value is 81,250. So 81,250 divided by 2. So it is 40,625. Total sales value for 4 units 1,51,250. So per unit 1,51,250 divided by 4 units. 37,812.5 and in case of manufacturing 8 units the sales value is rupees 2,82,250 so per unit it is 35,281.25 in this way we can calculate per unit sale price when the information of profit is also given in the question. I hope everybody is clear with the solution of this problem. Thank you. Keep watching next sessions of this chapter. God bless you.